On 7th November, a concerned cat owner brought her kitten to Topaya Vets due to the kitten's limp. The owner recounted that as he held the kitten after bathing her in the kitchen sink, the kitten wriggled herself free and fell onto the floor. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. What kind of fracture does the kitten suffer from? You can see he fractured. He fractured his uh, right hind leg. You can see it's at the femur, the distal femur. Let me, you can see there. Pin. This is supposed to be a Sorter Harris type 1 or 2 fracture. That means uh, it involves the growth plate, fractures at the growth plate level. It is clear from the x-ray that it is a softer Harris fracture type 2. That one x-ray does not show the normal left femur. The second x-ray has the comparison between the normal leg and the fractured leg. That one said the fracture was type 1, but he was not sure whether it was type 2. With the comparison, it is made obvious that it is a type 2. As a tip for vets, X-ray both femurs as in this X-ray shown. Some practices X-ray the fractured leg only. Here is a drawing of the different type of softer Harris fractures. Type 1 being physis fracture. Type 2 being metaphysis and physis fracture. Type 3 being epiphysis and physis fracture. Type 4 being epiphysis to metaphysis fracture. And type 5 being crush fracture. And comparing the drawings with the x-rays, the results show it is a type 2 softer Harris fracture. In order to carry out the procedure, the vet uses injectable anesthesia comprising of 0.2 ml of xylazine and 0.1 ml of ketamine on the kitten. Some vets use short pins to anchor the fractured femoral head to the main shaft. This means external pins and involvement of the joint. In this case, intramedullary pin and plaster of Paris cast was used. A lateral skin incision was made to push the pin into the metaphysis and exit from hip area. The pin is then pushed back to anchor for moral head and the extra length at the hip area is cut off. One is smell. Smell coming out from okay. there. Then cut some mm. cut. Mm. Cut pressure by this sore. pressure sauce. And then the swelling. The toe swelling, yeah. Toe mm. swelling. Which means that we have to re mm. re remove the tight bandage. Huh? Yeah. Then the temperature. The temperature. Here, if it's cold, then here it's not. Then it should be. Temperature of the. Oh. Mm. Means the blood circulation. Circulation is no good, mm. really. Yeah. Then must wear this e collar. Yeah. What? Well, then how's the kitten going to eat? Then they can remove this one. Or a smaller bone. Mm. Hand feeder. They can feed in a smaller bowl. Smaller bowl. Uh, smaller yeah. bowl. Or they remove this one, let mm. her eat, then put back. Mm. So the cat must confine in a small place. Mm. Uh. Mm, okay. Then this is the x ray of the. So there's a very little space to, to a pin. Mm. So we need to cast it. This is the cast. Yeah? The pasta Paris yeah, in this case. Now, but before operation, that, that there should be. Before operation, uh, there, there, there's another x ray. And this x ray is good in the sense that you can see two. This is a normal one. The normal femoral head, this is a fracture one. So you can see very clearly that. Uh, the fracture is above the growth plate and uh, the surgery is is to make a, the, the cat uh, under anesthesia a cut, lateral cut on the lateral side then expose the, the fractured area after that you push, reflect the patella medially then you get the pin. The five cats. The pin goes in. Goes in and comes out here. Then after that, adjust this. Align this uh, fractured femoral head. Then the pin will go into it. 
go into the femoral head. Then this part will be cut off. Then after that, you can see uh, that uh, this end has been cut off. The length is here, you can see it's just barely touching the femoral head, the fracture. Then we cast it to stabilize it. Normally, two weeks, the healing should be there. And uh, as you can see, in, tier, in, in conclusion, in summary, lateral incision exposed, reflect metal, uh, patella medially, then uh, put a pin through, with both with sharp ends through, come out from the hip joint, then palpate and, and align the femoral head to the normal position. Then the pin goes in, in backs in, and anchor it here by palpation. Then uh, close up, close up, and then uh, cut off one end, shorten it. Then after that, the uh, cast is done. Basically, that's how the surgery is done. The follow-up treatment for the kitten involves hospitalization for one week and being fed antibiotics and painkillers daily. The kitten will also be checked for swelling of toes and infection. After the hospitalization period, the cast will be taken out to check the skin incision wound and replace the cast. The cast removal will only happen six weeks post-operation. It's a eating, has excellent appetite and uh, it adjusts to the cast there, there's a cast there, and even able to pull, you can see the stools are there, pull, good quality well-formed stools, that means this kitten is uh, not infected. In conclusion, when asked by the couple, will the kitten walk and jump normally six weeks later? With the cast to immobilize the femoral head part to the shaft, chances are good that the kitten will have a normal leg again. It is due to the fast response of the owners that the kitten is so healthy now. If your cat is ever in this predicament, immediately bring your cat to the nearest vet. You could very well save your cat from having to walk on three legs all its life.